We can reasonably conclude that the Dadake community remains an ancient and informative document concerning the historical faith of Jesus. Now, I would like to present 10 arguments for those who try to forcibly Christianize the Dadake. Number one, Greetings, good evening everyone, and welcome back to Blogging Tawheed. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and share with your friends and circles. Please share this continuous da'wah of Tawheed that is the core and the essence of submitting to the Creator. Recently, I've been talking about the Dadake, and today we're going to look into the reliability of the text of the Dadake. How do we know this is the original text. How can we say that a specific text wasn't interpolated? Well, the Dedeke is as reliable as any other religious text. However, before one accepts whatever is written in any of the religious texts, I believe one must consider the timing it was written, the author's identity, the author's intention, the audience it was written for, and the context of, of its writing. Once this are known, the reader then will be able to understand the meaning of the text much better and be able to decide its relevance to one's own life. The text was lost sometime in the 4th century, but scholars knew of it through the writing of later church fathers, some of whom had drawn heavily on it. I would like to emphasize and clear the confusion that in 1873, in Istanbul, Philotheus Brenius found the Greek copy of the Dedeke written in 1056. So he did not find the original, but he found the Greek copy of the Dedeke written in 1056. And he published it in 1883, 10 years later. Hitchcock and Brown produced the first English translation in March of 1884. Adolf von Harnack produced the first German translation also in 1884. And Paul Sabatier produced the first French translation in commentary in 1885. The fact that some early references exist, such as Eusebius and others who referenced the Dedeke, proves it to be written prior to the 4th fourth century. Eusebius seems to be aware that some considered the book to be subcanonical, but he rejected its status. The Dedeke is also mentioned by Athanasius 367 and Rufinius in 380. Both deny its part of the canon of the New Testament. But the very fact they mention it shows that the book was held in high regard by the early church. In fact, it shows that it was considered sub-inspired. Surely this moves the Dedeke to the very early 2nd century at the latest, and it became part of the Ethiopian Coptic list of sub-canonical books. Also, a number of early Christian fathers quote from the Dedeke, Clement of Alexandria, Oregon, quote uh, from it, Polycarp as well, and Ignatius appear to use the Dedeke as well. We can reasonably conclude that the Dedeke community remains an ancient and informative document concerning the historical faith of Jesus. Now, I would like to present 10 arguments for those who try to forcibly Christianize the Dedeke. Number one, Although the Dedeke in its present form dates to the 1st or early 2nd century, it is of Jewish origin, albeit Christianized, and thus dates the origin to 50, between 50 and 70 um, Common Era. Number two, I strongly disagree with scholars who understand it to be a church manual. I argue that it was a manual of instructions, because the Dedeke meaning teaching, not a church manual for the Gentiles. Number three, 
The Didache is definitely an independent scripture from the Gospel. The language contained in the Didache is also found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, but not in the New Testament. Number four, in contrast with the Pauline Gospels, which is Christ-centric and based on the redemptive death of Christ and his exaltation, the Didache, along with the Q Gospel and the Gospel of Thomas, are mainly concerned with the teachings of Jesus. They constitute a gospel which is dissimilar to the gospel of Paul. Number five, there is no mention of the death and resurrection of Christ. It reaffirms the commandments, preaches against false teachers and false prophets. It prohibits food offering to idols, considering it service to dead gods. And number six, Jesus is called the servant of God multiple times, pais in Greek. The Didache provides no exaltation of Christ in the Pauline form. Number seven, the Eucharist is altogether unlike its depiction in the Gospels or 1 Corinthians. There is no mention of the body and blood of Christ. Instead, the Eucharist symbolizes the spiritual food life and knowledge as spoken by Jesus, the servant of God. Number eight, there are two thanksgivings with doxology before and after the meal directed to God the Father. The invocations of Hosanna and Maranatha here are directed to God the Father unlike in Paul's epistles and the gospels which direct them to Christ. Number nine, the eschatology is of a future kingdom of God, which a gathering and a resurrection. The expectation of the Lord coming in the clouds um, is of God the Father, not Jesus Christ. Compare this with the Quran, chapter 2, verse uh, 210, that says, I the translation of the meaning into English, it says, Are they waiting for Allah, a God himself, to come to them in the shade of clouds, along with the angels? If he did, then the matter would be settled at once. And to Allah, to God, all matters will be returned for judgment. And number 10, the triadic baptismal formula is an interpolation, as the Didache itself also mentions baptism in the name of Jesus. The same issue is also fi found in the Great Commission of Matthew's Gospel. Eusebius is said to report a different reading, citing baptism in, the, uh, in Jesus' name alone. To conclude, the Didache is an important document that does not buy into the Gospel's narrative. But, because it is not inspired according to the Church Fathers, although it is inspiring, it remains less significant. It is very interesting to note that parts of the Didache appear to call out apostles and pastors as false prophets. That right there is a key. To ejection. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم أأنت قلت للناس اتخذوني وأمي إلهين من دون الله قال سبحانك ما يكون لي أن أقول ما ليس لي بحق إن